Seven new stations, along stage, four of the Thompson East Coast Line TEL, were opened by Prime Minister Lawrence Wong on the morning of June 21, ahead of a public preview on the same day. The seven stations are Tanjung Ru, Katong Park, Tanjung Katong, Marine Parade, Marine Terrace, Siglet and Bayshore. The public preview, from noon to 9 p.m., on June 21, will allow people to ride the MRT trains for free along the new stretch and take part in games and activities. The stations will open for passenger service on June 23. The Tel's Eastern Inn will eventually be connected to Changi Airport via an extension set to be completed in the mid-2030s. Together with the opening of the airport's Terminal 5, its western end will link passengers to the Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System link at Woodlands North Station. Speaking at the TEL stage for TEL for opening ceremony at Marine Parade Station on June 21, PM Wong recounted his days growing up in Marine Terrace in the 1980s when he had wished for an MRT station closer to his home. While he no longer lives in the estate, PM Wong said residents along Tel 4 can enjoy fast, convenient and affordable public transport. A direct train right on the Tel from Marine Parade to Shenton Way, in the heart of the central business district, will take 20 minutes. Having commutes for residents who had to take a combination of bus and train before, he noted. Students stand to benefit, too, with more than 10 schools within walking distance of a Tel 4 station, said P.M. Wong. The new stretch will also bring the East Coast area, including Ju Chayat and Katong, closer to Singaporeans from other parts of the island and make it easier to reach East Coast Park. If you grew up in the East, there's always a special place here. You know that there are excellent food options in Ju Chayat, in Katong, and I think some people have even called this Tel for line the Mokan line. PM Wong quipped. Mokan means to eat in Malay. The Prime Minister noted that people with special needs were among the passenger groups the authorities had in mind when designing the line. For instance, station signs have larger fonts and there are more braille texts to aid the visually impaired. Hearing enhancement systems that minimize background noise for those with hearing aids and allow them to communicate more easily with station staff have also been fitted at passenger service centers in Tel stations. The stations come with more lifts and entrances, too, making it more convenient for those who face mobility challenges, said P.M. Wong. The next stage of TEL, comprising Bidok South and Sanjay Bidok stations, will be completed by 2026. This comes after the opening of the stations was delayed twice from the original 2024 deadline, first due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and later, the construction challenges of tunneling near existing critical infrastructure. For residents who are farther east, please be patient. Construction is ongoing, PM Wong said. He added, Tel 4, is just the latest stop in our journey to build a better home for all Singaporeans.